Welcome back. Let's get started. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. What's going on? I'm Toby, aka Merce Toby, and today I'm going to be talking about my experiences with the COVID Pfizer vaccine. So I got part one, the first dose and the second dose of the vaccine, and I just wanted to ex explain to everyone what my side effects were, just in case you guys are hesitant to get the vaccine and to see if that could help you guys make a better decision, more informed decision about what to do. Okay, so first I'm going to play two clips of me getting the first dose and the second dose of the vaccine, just so that you guys don't say that, you know, I never got it or anything. And so there's more proof for me getting it. Second dose with the Pfizer vaccine. They're asking if you want to. Um, that's all. You can just say why you mm -hmm. take the shot and write what you your feelings are. Both vaccines went pretty smooth for me. I barely even felt the shot, which is a surprise because I thought I was. I'm pretty afraid of needles, so I was, thought I was going to tense up and it's going to hurt a lot more. But it honestly didn't. Side effects wise. For the first dose, I had a pretty sore arm. I had to go back to work after the first dose. I had to go back to work after the second dose too, but after the first dose, I just really noticed how sore my arm was while I was at work. And then even for the next couple of days, my arm, my shoulder and, and like basically my whole arm was pretty sore. But that didn't affect me working out at all because the next very next day, I went to the gym got a good workout in and I was able to do shoulders and everything like that and that didn't really affect my workout at all. The only other side effect I really noticed with the first dose was that uh, the same night that I got the dose, I had like a slight headache, which was kind of unusual because I never get headaches at all, like ever. But also at the same time, I was a little bit dehydrated from coming back from work and I was stressed out because I was in the back the next day, so I just wanted to relax play some video games, and I wasn't drinking enough water, so that could have been part of it too. But with the second dose, I never got the headache, so, but I was also way more hydrated. I was eating, I ate, was eating right. I did all the things needed to do before the second dose, so that could have played a factor as well. So the only other issue when I got the second dose was that a couple days after I got the second dose, my armpits were starting to like hurt for some reason. And then after like a day or two, I noticed that my lymph nodes in my armpit was a little bit swollen, which was like crazy unusual. And I was kind of weird. I was like freaking out at first. I thought at first, you know, you always assume cancer. So I was like looking up articles about why your lymph nodes are swollen. And then, then I heard about a couple other people who had the lymph nodes in their armpit swell up after they got the vaccine. So I just chalked it up to that, let it go for like a week. And then it just slowly disappeared. So honestly, I mean, that was kind of unusual. That's pretty rare that it happens too, but it didn't actually hurt me long-term, I hope. <laughs> so that was just my only other side effect. All in all though, even though I didn't get a lot of like serious side effects from it or feel sick or anything like that, I did know a lot of people, like one of my coworkers who got the dose, <coughs> the second dose the next day, he came to work, he had to work and he was like really sick and he just looked like he was, just needed to be in bed all day. But I mean, even after that, the very next day after that day, he was looking way better. It was just like a little day cold that he had to get over. So in my opinion, the COVID, Pfizer COVID vaccine is very important to get because after a full week, after you get the second dose, you're basically 95% immune to COVID. So basically if you did get exposed to COVID, you have a 95% chance of not developing any symptoms or anything like that. Although we haven't proven that you can't pass it on, so that's always an issue. And hopefully, once that's proven, everyone will be way more safer and people will be more at ease with getting the vaccine. I also forgot to say that when I got my first uh, dose of the vaccine, I had to wait 21 days after to get my second dose just because what was most effective during their study. And also, Compared to Mod uh, Moderna, Mo uh, uh, Pfizer 
I mean, it has that 1% higher effective rate, which honestly, I'll take it. And I've heard a lot less side effects with Pfizer compared to the other uh, COVID vaccines. So, I mean, you just got to choose whichever one you think is the best for your health. And then hopefully together we can stop COVID-19. Thank you. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>